senior writer and co-author of Political Playbook. Jake Sherman is in the Political Newsroom in Arlington, Virginia. He joins us now. Jake, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks so, for having me. We have the FBI and the CIA both agreeing. They believe that Russia intervened in the election and possibly to benefit Donald Trump. Now, the president-elect's transition team has really been pushing back. Initially, they said, well, we'd like to see some consensus within the intelligence community. Now they're, they're getting that. And now they're saying that we need to see the evidence. What do you think is behind the strategy from the transition team? I, I think this is something that's frustrating, uh, the, the Trump transition team, as they kind of transition into power. Uh, they don't want to be seen as illegitimate, and I think that's what they think the intelligence community is doing. And they're really just trying to call their bluff. The intelligence community is not going to, or is unlikely to, I think is fair to say, to come out and uh, say that Russia has uh, uh, could have influenced the election or thrown the election to Donald Trump. So he's saying, listen, these are just people behind the scenes right now who are making the case that there was some interference we want you to come public uh, and say it in front of everybody. And now we're actually seeing, uh, you know, prominent senators from both parties calling for a special committee to look into this, look into the possible Russian hacking, but just look into hacking in general. And they're sort of going sort of head on against what the transition team w is saying, which is, oh, how do we really know this is actually happening? Can we see a major clash in the not too distant future? How do you see this playing out? There might not be a clash on this issue, but what this shows is that Senate Republicans are not going to be a doormat and let Donald Trump walk all over them. They are going to speak out. They are going to uh, oppose him when they feel uh, uh, he needs to be opposed. John McCain, uh, who is one of the people calling for the special committee, was never uh, a big fan of Donald Trump. They clashed many times. So uh, uh, while this is not what Donald Trump wants, John McCain was in Washington before Donald Trump and will likely be in Washington after Donald Trump leaves. So this this is something, I think this is the beginning of what we'll see uh, a developing trend uh, after the, uh, Donald Trump takes the White House. Let's talk a little bit about how the Obama administration dealt with this. Now, President Obama said he spoke to uh, Putin face to face. He told him to cut it out. And he said after that, there, there was no more hacking. <coughs> All the hacking occurred prior to that conversation. Uh, you heard in the story there that Donna Brazil said, no, that's not the case. We were still being hacked. You know, what do you make about how the Obama administration dealt with this and why President Obama did not intervene more. I, there, it's tough to say what he could do. I mean, they, the, the White House and the administration say that there are measures they could take to uh, hit back at the Russians for this meddling, uh, but have not said publicly what that is. Listen, the Obama administration is also very sensitive to the fact that they could have done more here to deter Russia. And, and I think the president has said he did all he can and he helped head it off. Uh, th we're, this is a kind of murky new world that we're in. This isn't warfare like we've seen it before. This isn't bombs. This isn't terrorism. This is something that exists behind the scenes in the shadows and it'll be interesting to see how the Trump administration deals with this as well. So happening today the Electoral College votes uh, it's typically sort of a pretty boring event and now we've got sort of high drama which is nothing which is something you don't associate with the Electoral College. Uh, there are protest plans. Uh, some electors uh, say they've been threatened. They've gotten emails. Uh, you know anti-Trump groups are trying to pressure some of the electors to vote uh, against Trump. What do you make of what's happening here? I know the election has been odd to say the least and now it seems it continues. Yeah, I don't. I think this is uh, a lot of noise. Donald Trump is going to be the next president. Um, uh, some states have even, uh, but uh, there are there's definitely is drama. Some states have put police officers to guard each elector. Now, listen. I think obviously the country's still very divided. People are very upset. Some Democrats are very upset that Donald Trump won. I, I don't. I think this is a lot of noise and a lot of drama about nothing. So uh, uh, by the end of the week, this will all be over. Donald Trump will be uh, an inch closer to the White House than he is now. Right, right, at least an inch. Uh, Jake Sherman, thank you so much. Thanks.